what a day. This is one of those vault videos, which means that I recorded this video a while ago, and I'm just posting it now. But you guys have to hold on one second because I need to time my shoot. See, we record all this stuff live. We don't we don't change it or cut it out or nothing. Keep the camera rolling. Keep it rolling. Whew, okay. Goodness, I have a hole in the side of my pants and I can feel the wind going right through it. But right now, so one of you guys said in one of the videos that you were, it was something along the lines of, Luke, can you keep the, can you record more videos while you're there? Can I record more videos while I'm here in Poland? And that's what we're doing. So every time when you guys saw the vlog and you heard me saying that I'm working on a side project, the side project was these little videos that you're watching now, letting you know what it's like and trying to give you guys some value, but I wanna take you guys somewhere real quick. It's a special time right now. You're about to see with the sun going down. But I wanted to make today's video to show you the side of Poland they don't want you to see. Now, when I hear people talk like that about, you know, they said this or they said like, well, first of all, who is they? That's the question that needs to be asked. And for me, the they is the people who most of the time just want you to go see their place or spend your money in their country. So they say, hey, don't go there. We warn against it. So the Poland they don't want you to see the they is anyone who tells you not to come here. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> and the Poland for me that I think that they don't want you to see is this. That everything, whoa. That there isn't, there doesn't seem to be too much danger here. My man right here, a kid walking by himself on the street. No problem. Like the streets are clean. Like the people are out. University students walking all around. People on their phones. Not scared they're gonna get their phones taken away. Because there's this misconception, misconception that Poland is, I don't know, like, when I talk to most people, that it's just like super dangerous. Oh, by the way, this is a really good place to eat. I went there one time a while ago and it was really good. I don't remember what I had, but I remember it was good uh, before I was vlogging. Um, but yeah, that's what I was saying. Maybe people want you to think that it's not so safe or it's worrisome or it's poor or dirty. or so many different things I've heard. I've heard so much stuff. Cause I used to just tell people right away, no, Poland's awesome, it's amazing. But then I started to hear, I started to ask them like, yo, what have you heard about it? Like, what have you, what have y'all heard about it? And when when I heard when I started to ask people that, they would just tell me some crazy stuff that I'm like, who even told you that? And people don't even know where they hear stuff from. <laughs> That's the world we live. We don't even know who said something. So this is the poem they don't want you to see. But hold on, we're not at the point yet. We're gonna walk up here. We're gonna go right, and I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you what they don't want you to see. Don't worry, we're making our way there. It's a place I've wanted to show you for a while, but I didn't have a chance to make it over there. So this is gonna be a first time for me and you. And just, I want you guys to notice the B-roll too. There's a reason I'm filming and showing you guys all around. So let me know how you'd feel if you were walking here. Would you feel that it was dangerous? Do you feel danger or worried? <laughs> or do you see people just chilling and minding their own business? but they don't want you to see that. We're making our way somewhere. And by the way, if, I've said it a thousand times, but man, it feels so good to be back here. Like I've been here so many times and made so many videos and talked about it. You've heard it a thousand times, but I don't even know what to say sometimes. Like you find your, when you find your peace somewhere, don't mess up your piece by trying to explain it. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Well, we're about to make it here. I'm about to show you all the Poland. Hold on. I'm about to show you. But they don't want you to see. We're gonna, you're gonna see. What they don't want you to see. It's a little bit further away than I thought. When I first came here, I was on a uh, longboard all the time, which is like a skateboard. 
So my, in my mind, getting from place to place, I have it in my mind of, oh, it's only like three or four minutes away. Well, that's on a skateboard. <laughs> Walking is a little bit further. But we're going just right up here. Oh, goodness. We're gonna, we're gonna go right to that sun actually over here. So we might be a little bit lost, but I've never taken this shortcut, but I feel like if the sun is out, then that's the way we have to go, guys. How peaceful does that seem? Does it seem peaceful to you? That's, that's, that's the million dollar question. Do you feel any kind of danger or worry or, like what are you feeling? Chill. But people don't, people think that there's something else. I don't know, I don't know what people think sometimes. Is, is this peaceful? I'm not yelling. I don't have a, even a mic on my camera. But I think we're we're gonna make it there. I haven't. Went, I've never taken this way before, so you gotta be patient with me. I'm hoping we can cut over. <laughs> It doesn't seem too, too weird, no? Not too dangerous, not too crazy, not too scary. Look at the streets, look how clean these streets are. This is the Poland, everyone who thinks, I don't know, I would never go there, really? <laughs> and it's even better than it was before. They've done, a, they've done a lot to clean up this place, I'll say, from what I've noticed. But I'm hoping we can make it. If we can make it before the sun goes down. And also you gotta remember, going here, there's so many little stores along the way. So many shops and places. One of my favorite things about Poland, I made that in another video, is you gotta always, you gotta be, as you're walking down the streets, you always gotta turn your head to the shops. Cause inside these little shops, they just got little hidden places that are so nice, so cool looking. Little cafes, Cap they just, they're just hidden. Like you'll just walk by a place like this where it looks all like, okay, graffiti, graffiti, look away. And then all of a sudden you've passed up a really cool coffee shop in the corner or a really cool restaurant. Okay, so I've never taken this way before. We might be lost. But that's okay. Sometimes that's when you find the best stuff. Definitely the most unexpected stuff when you're lost. I think it's this way. I think we're going the right way. I'm pretty sure we are. Can't be going the wrong way. Okay. So, where I'm trying to take you guys is to the river area, but I think I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing you gotta remember is when you see graffiti, like in most countries, when you see something like this, it's dangerous, you know? Like if, if you see something like this, it's like, oh, I gotta be careful or I need to watch, watch out. But here, no, doesn't mean nothing. Oh, I need to get a notebook. It's okay. We'll do it another time. It's all good. Well, this isn't the place, this isn't the way I thought we were going. So we're a little bit lost, but we're gonna find something. <laughs> but this is it, you get lost and you just chill. Like look how new everything looks here. How quiet, how chill, you see elderly people out. Poland's the one country where I always see elderly people. Well, this is cool, I, I don't know where this is, but okay. Okay, so we're gonna be going this way, but I don't know where we are, but that's okay. We're gonna make it somewhere. <laughs> we're gonna arrive. I don't know where. And it's just very interesting looking at all the buildings as well. One of the 
very interesting facts is I can tell, or most of the time you can tell with the older buildings here, um, like older buildings like this, one, two, three. The older buildings will only have four floors, I believe. Because I believe back in the Soviet times, you couldn't have buildings that were more than four stories high. So a lot of the old building, and it might even be three, to be honest with you. So you can always tell the older buildings because of that. When I lived in Ukraine, you saw them everywhere. Almost, there weren't so many new buildings. Every, everything was three or four floors. And one thing walking around Poland is you gotta remember the history. Like, so I don't believe Krakow, I could be wrong about this, but I'm, I'm not, I know Warsaw was like 98% destroyed in the war, but I don't know what percent Krakow was, but a lot of the buildings, I would, I would guess they're still the same after all this time. Okay, I think we're getting close to our, okay, yeah, I think it's up here, guys. Ooh, I took away, I didn't even know. But that's what it's about. You just get lost, go around, you're gonna be okay. Nothing to be super scared of or worried about. It's Poland. Like if this, if this doesn't show you that it's okay, I don't know what can do it. Like looking like me, I know, well, Luke, you're big. No one's going to bother you. But there's no one even to bother me. It's not like I'm walking by a bunch of crazy people on the street or people yelling or drinking or screaming. None of that. You can literally just come out here and sit and relax. No one's gonna, who's going to bother you? I'm surrounded by 90-year-olds walking their dogs. You're going to be okay. And I think... I think we're going the right way because the thing in one thing one thing i will tell you in poland is you want to try to get out the at least in the smaller cities try to get out the square like out the center center of the city if you want to catch the sunset because what happens is the buildings are so high and the streets are so narrow that the sun will go down maybe three or four hours before it actually goes down because it's it's hidden behind the buildings so right now, okay, this is where I was trying to take y'all. We're doing good. As my friend Doug said, powerful life lesson. You gotta sometimes take a alternate route to get to your destination. And that's what we did. Okay, we're making progress. Wow, I've never been here in winter time. It's so weird. So many, so, many tour many, so many tourists normally. Whew. Normally there's so many tourists. But now it's super chill. Uh, all right. Now we're getting close to where we got to be. Because one of the, the sunset in Krakow is very, oh my goodness. You don't want to miss the sunset in Krakow. And apparently, I think this thing is new. Can y'all see that up there? That's like a hot air balloon. Oh, let me get there. You see that? That's like a... Yeah, I don't know. That's new, I never saw that before. Ah, okay, here we go. This is the Poland they don't want you to see that they're not gonna show you. Poland will show you. Like if you watch their YouTube or their advertisements or something like that but trips to Europe I haven't seen it look how Pete look at this peaceful ride of the park nobody bothered no one's come no one's even come up and approached me asking me for nothing I just came from Barcelona I must have got asked about eight to ten times for stuff nothing against them asking me but here it's just peaceful and look at this. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the Poland that they don't show you. This is the Poland that they don't show you. Look at this. When you want to talk about beautiful, oh my goodness. Te gusta amor, mira. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see yourself here? 
think you can see yourself here. You'll be watching the sunset. That's what they don't show you all the time. And my the people who were talking about the last time I was here, me and my friends, we skateboarded all the way from down there around, all the way up there, and all the way down. I think we skateboarded as far as you could go. And, uh, oh man, yeah. That's beautiful. That's, look at that. That is definitely the poem they don't want you to see. Things have changed, times have changed. I, haven't, I, I see that in a lot of different countries that I've been to. They, the, the country gets a reputation for something maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago. And then what ends up happening is people hold that country to that, even though it's completely changed and they want it to change. They want to change the narrative and it's safer than it used to be. But people hold to that old story. Just kind of like how people maybe hold up, they hold us to how we used to be. It's like, I've changed. And this is definitely one of those places. And you don't even have to be here. You can go all the way down there and just walk all the way over there. And where you see those people gathered over there, that's the dragon. And every, I think, four minutes or two minutes or something like that, it shoots out fire. Like, like legit fire. Like, if you were to stand in front of the dragon's mouth, you would be burned. <laughs> but this is the poem they don't want you to see. It's chill, beautiful, peaceful. Everyone just does their own thing. You could be here sitting, having a little picnic. And actually, I got some bedrunkle bread in my pocket. We're going to have some of that. But, yeah. The poem they don't want you to see. You saw it here. Get over here and enjoy yourself. And I'll see y'all in the next adventure, the next vault adventure. And uh, yeah, until then, find a way to get over here. And maybe I'll see you around. See you in the next adventure. Nova Zenia.